So, the build modifier. When you add it, your object will probably disappear. But don't worry, if you don't have a timeline, just drag the corner and add a new window, then select the timeline editor. When you press play, your object will start building in a certain order and length. Those can be easily changed. For example, you can make the animation longer or shorter depending on the length value. If you add two build modifiers and select the reverse button for one of them, you can loop the build modifier. If you want a perfect loop, then these three numbers have to be the same. Now, if you want to change the mesh order, go into edit mode, select all the faces with A, and in the mesh settings down in the sort elements menu, you can find seven order types. Select one of them, like view Z axis for example, and make sure you have the faces selected in the bottom left menu. The Z and X axis are based on where your viewport is in 3D space, so if you're on top of the object, the mesh will start building from the bottom to the top. Small note, if you want your mesh to build more smoothly, add a subdivision surface after the builder, and maybe one before. This depends entirely on your hardware. Another way to sort the face elements is by 3D cursor distance. This is especially useful if you have a rotated object. Just add a random object, move it to wherever you want, and with Shift S, move the 3D cursor to that object. Then go back to your model, select all the faces, go into Mesh, Sort Elements, and select 3D cursor. Back into Object Mode, we can see the result. Now, you can combine this with the mesh material, and select which material is going to appear first and in what direction. So, for example, if you sort elements based on the 3D cursor, and then sort them by mesh material, you're going to get a combination of the two. Changing the material order also changes the building order. So, that's all for this modifier guys, let me know in the comments if you learned something new. By the way, if you're interested in more 3D tutorials and other cool stuff, consider subscribing and don't forget to join our Discord channel, we'll be happy to have you on board. We do tutorials, critiques and sometimes talk about random stuff. If you wanna share some of your work with us, we'll be glad to review it. Or if you just wanna talk, then that's even better, we'll be there. The link has no expiration date, so if you're seeing this tutorial in the future, you're still welcome.